Hi, this is Shobhus from Codeboxer. In this video, I will show how to manage Facebook app permission uh, that you may need to uh, use for our Joomla extension, My Social Timeline, and a few other Joomla extensions. Uh, we have a tutorial about uh, how to create Facebook app, and we wrote as a step by step tutorial, and uh, we almost uh, showed all the steps and wrote instructions. And in step 10, uh, th there is an option for uh, requesting permission. Uh, we need to request two permission. One is uh, user underscore post and another is uh, manage underscore pages. Uh, and this needs to be done uh, using the Facebook app uh, developer portal from the app screen. Uh, this is the app screen. Uh, this is the app uh, I just created to create this tutorial and uh, I will show how to request for app uh, review or app permission. So current request uh, I was uh, trying to send uh, the request and there, there's some showing uh, progress here. I will go to permission and feature list. You, you can see uh, that uh, I have one permission that is ongoing. Uh, this is not done yet to send the request and I have to manage uh, another two. So what I'll do, I will copy this user underscore post and I will type here. You can see user post and I have to click the request button to send the request. Let's click it. And there will be a, a new button pop up here, continue the request. I'll go here. And uh, there are some instructions that I have to follow. Like uh, tell us how we'll use the user underscore post. So let's click on this, on this screen and there will be a pop up window. You have to agree and you have to write some notes how this app will be used. Uh, here are some options, the how app, the app will be used. You have to click the web and uh, you have to uh, write the instructions. Uh, if you're using our component, my social timeline models and component, then you know how the uh, backend screen works. Uh, you can take screenshots, you can create a video, how this works and uh, put it uh, here also and uh, here uh, they also need a skin cast actually and they, you have to do it uh, at your end the create a skin cast how mm, our Joomla extension takes the permission uh, if you click here so we need these two permission and uh, sorry uh, you have to uh, upload the video and save and there's another option uh, as I have requested for uh, two permission, I have to fulfill for those two. And uh, there's another option for a few other options. Testing get initial and confirm the, so just read the instruction here and uh, follow this guideline. And there's another option for putting uh, app icon, a privacy policy or a business use and app category, choose them and save, and then finally submit for review. So uh, this, this process actually needs to be done by you who are uh, using this extension. Uh, as Facebook app uh, works for uh, any uh, owner of the app, uh, we can't create a app for you. We have to create for uh, for your own website and uh, following our instruction and submit for uh, review. So this is the process for uh, app review. And uh, uh, one thing you have to uh, keep in mind that this uh, review process is totally depends on Facebook uh, app reviewer team. So you have to wait, you have to clear every every information, why you are creating this app. You can mention our uh, product that uh, using this uh, Joomla extension, uh, we pull uh, uh, Facebook timeline 
and you can uh, take his skins and uh, uh, request for approval most cases facebook approves uh, the application uh, and it will depend on how you are describing and uh, and that's it and uh, one thing uh, you should uh, uh, remember that you have to publish the app after the review uh, as the current status is development after review you will be able to uh, able to make it public uh, for this uh, for these permissions and few other settings you already uh, saw uh, in the step by step permission uh, step by step uh, tutorial uh, how to uh, actually we do we don't, don't don't need this the main things are in the basics you need app id app secret you need to put uh, the app domains uh, icons privacy policy url uh, terms and service mm, you have to put some information that uh, may need for GDPR and uh, you have to put your website. Uh, at first, this screen is not shown here. You have to click add platform, then choose uh, uh, website. I already choose it. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, up to this stage, it's more straightforward. The complexity uh, is for app review. Uh, that's you have to manage and uh, that's it. Uh, if you face any problem, uh, uh, contact us from our website and we'll get back to you. Thank you.